All right, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of a different video, a little bit of a serious video. None of my antics this time. We're going straight into it, and we're going to talk about something. Uh, and it's something that I take personally, man. So let's just get right into it. Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, man, so check this out. Your boy Power got next, or well, Power got next, Power DF, Power, whatever. Power been been some of everything since 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 the beginning. But he makes a statement right here, and uh, we gonna get right into this statement here, man. And uh, it's just simply this: I've been playing NBA 2K Park since the first release in NBA 2K15, and every year, including yes, 16 and 2K17, people have always claimed the game was terrible and the worst 2K ever. I keep things in perspective. Most people in this community just want to complain and complain every year. Now that's something that I don't doubt that, and I don't deny. Some people in this game, that's all they're here for is to complain about the game. Complain and tear the game down, beat the game up, strip it, just like they did in 18. A lot of the content creators took the game, salted the earth, and just threw salt on it, burnt the earth behind. They just did like twisted the, uh, the, 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 the Sherman next ties on the tree. They did everything because they didn't want anybody to come. It feels like they didn't want anybody to come up off the game. Like they really made the game. Like if somebody had enjoyed 18, it would have been impossible for them to play it just because of the fact that a lot of people just salted the earth on the game. They just did it like, yo, we're not going to let anybody prosper off this game. Now you have some people, Tysino and Duke Dennis that persevered, but a lot of other people suffered because of that. Now, let's go on to the next thing that, that was said here. Chris Manning, AKA LD2, LD2K, he says, this is actually true. I've talked about this before uh, internally in, in hope, oh, let's see, it also helps, helps, what the world? I guess he's gonna say helps to categorize different types of feedback uh, given. All about looking beyond the moment, and I agree with that. But we gonna get, uh, we gonna get that. There. And then you got your boy Mike Eichenroth, Mike Mike Inkrot, and uh, he's the well, he's he's somewhere with 2K. I, I don't really know what he does with him. But his statement is teaching players to provide productive and useful feedback is key. Simply shouting one specific instance where something didn't work and holding on to that moment, and holding on to that one moment to say the game is broken ignores the fact that it's technology. Nuance feedback is crucial, crucial uh, to a game's life. And I agree with that. And then right at the end, you got your boy, you got uh, you got somebody that he says, hey, maybe look, maybe you're looking in the wrong places. And this is the only thing that I agree with out of this whole thing. My boy says, maybe you're looking in the wrong places at the wrong people. And then he put a hey, meet the at me bro show, Brutal Sim and Jay Easy. And uh, he should have put All City Live TV Shakedown and guys like that up there too. Uh, 2K, NBA 2K Toots and all that. See, this is the problem with this game. A lot of people are in 2K to make a quick buck, right? They, they come in, you come into the community, you try to post content that you think is good. And when you start posting good content that you think is good and you work so hard and it just doesn't do the numbers that you want it to do, most people tend to just say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna take the easy way out. And normally the easiest way out in 2K is to is to complain about the game. I don't know why Power chose the word um, complain, except for I do know why he chose the word complain. Because complain has a negative connotation. I don't know why he didn't just say people voicing their opinions about the game. Because that's what most people are doing. You got people like I said, me, Brutal Sim, all City Live TV, Shakedown, all these guys, but we're not comp and we're not popular in the community and stuff like that. So because of that, even though we've been in the community longer than anybody, because of that, my my opinion doesn't count. T Mizzle, AKA the Instant Burner, Anonymous 2K TV, all the positive people, you know, we, they, we, we're not gonna listen to them. If we don't like the game, we're probably just not going to play it. That's why we just played Fortnite on NBA 2K18. Just didn't play the game. I didn't like it. I'm not gonna sit here and make videos about it every day, tearing the game down, bashing the game, because there's somebody that enjoys the game, somebody that likes the game, and I'm not gonna be like, the game is just trash. I will, however, point out things in the game that need to be addressed. 
Some of those things being things like the behind the back this year, the demigod glitch, the, uh, you know, uh, the badge glitches, all those things. I will always point these things out because these are things that have no place in the game. Fades, being able to fade from three, uh, grabbing on picks, pushing last year. All of these things are things that we are just simply voicing our opinions about and saying simply, hey, we know how the 2K community is and we know how they act. If you give them something that is broken, they are going to take advantage of it ad nauseum. They won't even attempt to play the game in the right way. They will just take advantage of it. Case in point, NBA 2K18. What did everybody do? That was a pop. That was a very popular 2K. Everybody says it's trash. And everybody that was on a competitive level, they didn't really like the game. But the game was insanely popular. Why? Because you could do things to, to engineer automatic buckets on the game. That's what it was. You could do the push off, run up court, get somebody on you, push off. You had to blow by, you could blow on by, or you could um, or you could just dex back and forth and take easy shots. See, the community says that they want one thing, but what really ends up happening is they we, we end up wanting something else. So we secretly want the game to be broken. People wanted the behind the back in the game. They said that they didn't want it out of the game, but they wanted it in the game because it was an easy bucket for them. People didn't, people said that they didn't want people shooting in people's faces in the game, but they want that in the game because every time they put out a poll, they say that. It's just things that, if something's gonna make the game be broken, I feel like it needs to be taken out of the game. If it makes the game unplayable, or if it's something that's like a go-to move that you can go to every single time and not even think, those things need to be taken out of the game. You very rarely see me just sit here and complain about anything. I don't complain about anything. I, I, I make a, a suggestion or a me, Brutus, and Marley, we point out something that's in the game that can be exploited or that is wrong and it shouldn't be in the game. I got 35 years of basketball experience. I've dribbled a basketball at a high level. A lot of people that play this game and do these things, they've never dribbled a basketball at a high level under third grade peewee league right much less you know anything else college all that stuff they haven't done it so why are we listening and, and then much less play the game they don't play the game they don't stream they don't like i've been I, i've been following power since he was power got next since he was streaming every day on nba 2k 16 and stuff like that so he's not one of the people that i'm talking about but you do have a lot of people that don't stream don't play the game that much they don't do anything they only play on one system all this stuff. I play the game on multiple systems. This this year I'm gonna be playing on PC also. I'm gonna play the game on every system. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna play the game as much as I possibly can or put out as many videos as I can, no matter what the game is, and we're gonna try to do things to make the game better. It's not complaining. I hate when people come across and say, Why y'all complaining about this? Why are you complaining about that? You never say, Why are you voicing your opinion on this? Why are you voicing your opinion on that? Because you all know that complain has a negative connotation. And if you say complain, then it, it somehow invalidates the person's point because he's just complaining. But imagine if people didn't complain about the conditions that we're in on, on everything, where this world would be. You're just gonna accept anything that's given to you? That's why I say I don't like that stance. I just take it in stride and play the game. If there was no such thing as passes, yeah, let's take it in stride and let's play the game. But they have patches for a reason. They have patches, they, they put out the game in the condition that they do for a reason. We got game testers and all that stuff. They have patches so that we can voice our opinions on things that game testers may have missed. Game testers don't play the game at all. They probably come in, pick up a check, play 2K, and then they say, okay, well, this is fine, that's fine, that's fine. They don't play the game on any level beyond just play now or quick play or you know what i'm saying like like this stuff like that they don't they don't know that there are things in the game that you can be taken advantage of look nobody was even aware that the behind the back how did the, how did the behind the back make it into the game how did the tendencies glitch make it into the game that's why y'all don't want to say anything about the tendency glitch because y'all really wanted that in the game and we know because there are people paying for these accounts why do we not say anything? Why do why do, why is booting people still in the game? Why are we not masking people's IPs? People's IPs and things like that. This is security. People are working from home right now, and you got people out here sitting here trying to grab people's IPs and and fry people's IPs because they're pulling them in a game of 2K. 
these things need to be taken out of the game. It just needs to be. That's not complaining. It's a legitimate argument. Or as, or as my uh, DI used to say, it's a legit. If you got a legitimate bitch, I don't, I don't care. Uh, go ahead and voice your opinion if you got a legitimate bitch. If you don't have a legitimate bitch, then if you if, if you don't got a legitimate bitch and you got a problem, say what the problem is, bring me a solution, or you're just part of the problem. If you don't bring a solution, every time I put up a video, you can never see me, you never see me put out a video just complaining about something. I talk about it and I always have a solution to it. I know, because I'm a solution-oriented person, I know that you can't always make things be changed with the with you know with the with the with the hit of a button or the wave of your hand or anything like that i try to talk about the things in the game that i feel like should be able to be changed with with small with little if any effort and when i'm talking about little if any effort i'm talking about just change the tune and change this change that the people shooting in people's faces they obviously couldn't change those things why because they didn't change it. They, they, they didn't change it. They could have turned up the defense maybe, but then they may have break, broken the whole game. They obviously couldn't take pushing out of the game because that took a fundamental thing. It needed to be taken out. But hey, they, what, what did they do? They had to wait all year and they probably had to redesign some part of the architecture of the game architecture of the game because it was ingrained in it. How about in 2K18 when I told them when they, when I told them about the draw distance and how we needed to get we like how how they could fix that uh when everybody was lagging in the park and I'm saying the draw distance is the is the is the problem. They need to change that. Make a video about that and they changed it. Do y'all still want to be lag y'all still be lagging in the park on 2K18 if I hadn't done that, bro? Like I I don't know, man. Like look. I guess we're just supposed to accept everything in life the way that it is and never say anything about anything. But I hate when people use the word complain because there's not everybody's complaining. And some people will say, well, if it's not, a, if it doesn't apply to you, then why are you worried about it? Because if you say complain and you make a blanket statement and just say that everybody's just complaining and you're not pointing out the people, these people that are complaining, they have made millions off of YouTube. They don't stream. They don't play the game much. They don't do anything. The only thing that they do is get on YouTube and bitch about the game. They tear the game down and they have the biggest audiences. And then they say, I'm not going to play it. They play it for the first two months and for the little first little time. And then they done with the game. That's just how it is. And those are the people that are most important to, to 2K because they got the most clout. They listen to them the most. They invite them to the events. They don't invite somebody that's been playing this game all year like me. Like or playing the game all year like Anonymous. Like like me and Man Man Grind Hard, me T Mizzle, uh, Jerry is twin, everybody on my intro. They don't do that. They'll sit there and listen to people that don't even play the game because that guy has followers. Because Does that mean that they speak for the community? They may speak for their community, but they don't speak for the entire community. It's just insane to me that we can take that little vocal minority and, and, and that's what we're gonna go with. Instead of saying, hey, you know what? Bruta Sam makes a good point with this. Jay Easy makes a good point with this. Like when they when they took my idea, obviously they listening to me because every idea I come up with they take. Just like when I said, "Hey, in 2K16, when my boy Nizze was killing my center, I was like, bro, this don't make a, this don't make sense that a center has access to all of these dribble moves. What they should do is lock the dribble moves off by your statistics or what have you. If you lock them off by the statistics, then then people can't um you know like a center shouldn't even have that dribble move to be able to do anything with. And what happens? They did it. Like, like this. This is not like something that shouldn't be in the game. This is just a common sense thing that only takes a little tuning. So if you don't have a certain dunk rating, you can't have. Uh, you you can't you can't get certain dunks. It's stuff like that. Rating make ratings actually matter. It is what it is, though, man. Like I said, I said all that, and then they took away my baseline reverse off one, and I can't even use it. But. All I wanna say is, man, I just don't like when people use the word complain, when people are just voicing their opinion. Sometimes you got a legitimate opinion and a lot of people don't. I feel like the people that I've named in this video, All City, 2K2, all those guys, Bruce, I mean, a Brutal Sim, uh, Shakedown, when we talking, you know, it, it, it's 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 definitely legitimate. At Me Bro Show, all that, it's legitimate. Yeah, but you got a lot of the community that just wants the game to be how they want it to be. Like I said, they want, Swante too, he, when, most of the time when he's talking, it's 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 definitely legitimate. Y'all think that Swante just want to be able to dribble, 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 but that's not the case. He's probably one of the most intelligent people I've ever met, especially on this 2K thing, because most people just want the game to be exactly like they want it to be, and we just want a good game. 
That's it. Anyway, man, J. Fox, all them, man, like, it, it, it's a lot of people, man. They're looking in the wrong places. We ain't clouded enough. But then once we get to a million, maybe we can actually get a good game. But I don't have to have a million subscribers to have a valid point of view and, and have some good insight on how you can fix something. How many of the Dells got a million subscribers? But we, but 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 they but they they get their opinion gets voice right. It is what it is, man. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will probably never get invited to an event or anything like like that. And I already know it, man. Just because of how this thing is. If you make valid points and you talk about things, they they not trying to listen to you. Uh, conversely, if you got a lot of subs and you just yell and tear the game down and act like you don't like it and stuff. Yeah, you know, and don't even barely play the game and don't post it and stuff. Hey, they'll give you the world and lay it at your feet. But uh, anyway, and my boy Anonymous 2KTV too, man. All the people down in the description, man. Go holler at them, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Are we just complaining? Have you ever heard me just complain and not have a valid point of view or a valid way to, to resolve the issue? <laughs> or, or is it right? Or is power right? People just complain and complain and complain. I don't think a lot of people complain. I think a lot of people just have va have valid issues, and then you got some people that's gonna complain no matter what. I'm just not one of them. Anyway, I'm out of town next time, man. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hey. Team commits. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, Godspeed. Godspeed, Godspeed. We good.